This is my OG Duramax. Say what you will about the 6.5 and the legitimate OG Duramax, the Mustang, the Dakota, whatever it is. This is what drove my channel to be where it is today because I bought something new, did some crazy stuff with it, and the book is far from over. We're only on like chapter two of the ZR2 build, the ZR2 legacy. I was talking with Mike, he had three separate lift kits on his Duramax that he remembers. There may have been more, but three separate lift kits. Right now, the only reason why we don't have anything crazier on this is because the market is so limited. We currently are rocking the BDS suspension. I think it's a four inch lift on the Colorado. It doesn't bump it up too much. So six inch, I think would have been perfect for this thing and then stuff some 37s on it. But BDS out of all the lift kits I've had experiences with um, is by far the best. And their warranty is stellar. It's just, there's no questions asked. It's just like a lot of the American, uh, I can't say a lot of stuff, but like the Pew Pew companies out there, what they have with their warranties, like Ruger, my system that I have from them. It's just like, hey, this part broke on, they don't need any proof. They sent out a part, it's replaced. Anyway, enough about that. What I'm trying to say is this truck's here for the long haul. Even whenever I get the Silverado ZR2, which by the way, is the next truck that I'm getting, I made my decision. No TRX Ignition Edition, I think that we have to stick with the Silverado, uh, the Chevy group, just because, not because I'm a fanboy of Chevy. Um, as a matter of fact, I think they're sort of behind uh, the rest of the group, even Ford, uh, which is crazy because Ford's build quality over the last few years has seemed to slip a little bit. Uh, no hate on Ford's, I had a Mustang. I have really nothing good to say about it just because it was starting to fall apart. It was only nine years old. Uh, but nevertheless, uh, my point is that I think I need to stick with Chevy um, and we're gonna stay away from Ram just for now. So the Silverado ZR2 is what's coming to you next. We're gonna keep the Chevy Colorado ZR2 because this thing, it's the OG Duramax. We gotta keep the build going. We're gonna just keep going crazy here. And uh, that's that. Follow me on Instagram, rfracing717. If you guys want crazy updates, say dog in the comments if you made it two minutes into this video. It's very impressive that you guys have made it this far. I normally say at the end, but I'm going for engagements here. So I said at the beginning, say dog in the comments. It helps me out for whatever reason. YouTube loves that stuff. We're out here at the land as always. This video is about, yes, the ZR2 and the lift kit that we're going to have to get to fit some bigger tires. Only problem is, nothing is made for this truck. I mean, I'm not kidding you. There, I think there's uh, Zone Off-Road makes like a little body lift for this, and BDS makes uh, their suspension lift. Rough Country makes theirs, which I know is a six inch lift. I think they offer a couple other things, especially the body kit. I think I do have the body lift kit uh, back at the house. I guess I could throw on this thing just to bump it up in the air a little bit. That would help with my tire clearance. I've heard bad things though about body lifts, like it, just the ride quality is crap and all that stuff. Anyway, back to what we have at hand here. There's, I'm so limited. I don't know where to go when it comes to lifting this truck higher in the air to get 37s on it. I've heard opinions from a bunch of different people who own Colorados. My biggest dilemma is, I hope you guys can hear me over all like the crunching the leaves. I'll try and just stand in one spot so it doesn't make so much noise. But the, the things I've heard where it's like you have to mix and match and get really creative with these newer Colorados because there isn't a lot out there on the market for them. So I have Eibach springs in the front and what I heard is you can turn up the torsion bars just a little bit uh, to fit 37s. There's someone on Instagram, I'm so sorry for not knowing their name, I know that uh, Stance ZR2 uh, has some wicked offset on his, um, and they fit just fine. I mean, they rub a little bit like everything else, but it's nothing too crazy. Looking at this truck right now, though, the 33s look plenty big. I mean, on camera, they don't look that great, but in person, they look pretty chunky. I mean, they're 33s. It's a big tire. But to go to 37s, it just seems like this is what this truck really needs to get it to the next level. There's so many obstacles out at Roush where it's like, man, if I just had that little bit more, we could clear it. Now, this thing cleared one of the hardest trails on Roush Creek. Uh, not the hardest. There's, I think, two more that are just insane trails where you need like jeep crawlers and i don't even know if i could get this thing to be capable to take on those trails uh just because the wheelbase is a little longer but that's the plan for this thing we're going to purchase uh the lift kit today because the only thing that i know uh before we get too far here is that bds i'm almost positive makes a six inch lift for this year chevy colorado the thing is i have to give up the dssv multimatic shocks that everyone sweats over they are very nice um, they're good shocks, but it, we're gonna be putting Fox on this thing, so which is cool. So I can sell, I guess, the Multimatic shocks. I don't really know how much they're worth. Maybe some amount of money uh, to offset the cost of the lift. But the lift kit is very expensive. I think it's upwards of six thousand dollars. Still have to replace the drive shaft on this thing, and unfortunately, the dash is lit up even more now. So we have a tire light which is blinking, um, which usually means you're, I, I don't know what it normally means, um, because even whenever the tire's flat, it's not gonna be blinking. 
Um, I'm pretty sure that for whatever reason we lost the tire pressure sensor in there. I don't know if whenever the tires wear down, it got it like hit something and crushed it. I think that those are pretty well protected, but maybe not whenever it's completely flat. Uh, the ABS lights on, traction control, uh, it's just constant alarms. Like every like three miles, it dings with something new. Um, which I think I found the problem here. This little wire here I think is the wheel speed sensor and you can see that the wire on this side is all dirty because that's what's been exposed to the elements and then all of a sudden here it gets nice and clean. So I think that this got pulled out of this little sheath here and somewhere along the lines this is ripped, this is compromised um, and in here uh, there's actually a, a pinch on it somewhere where you can almost see the cable like this is really crimped right here. Sorry I'm not getting the camera on this really well. Uh, but definitely something snagged this. I don't know if this is the factory location of this. If it is, that's atrocious. There's way too much hang down here. So something definitely happened to compromise that. This one, tucked nice and neat, no slack. So yeah, definitely some damage occurred right here. So we'll have to get that replaced. Headed to Whitmore this Friday to get that all fixed up. Also, tell me if you guys can figure out wherever this creaking noise is coming from, from underneath the vehicle. I'm assuming drive shaft and the transfer case. Let me know. I'm too lazy to run with my dog. So I just drive in the truck and she follows me. All right, so what we're pulling up to right now is the new and improved, oh my God, this is massive. I'll just give you a glimpse. It's not gonna be able to tell you how high we are off the ground here because GoPros suck at perspective, but holy smokes, the new and improved ramp Mike hasn't even told me about this yet. I just pulled up here and it was, it's completed. Let me try and back away. Um, so this is his, this is his ramp. Uh, I'm not gonna spoil the surprise here. Oh my God. Oh my God. No, he, he messed up here. I'm assuming he had Bailey make this. Dude, no. Nope, there ain't no way anyone is going off this and living. I'm not kidding you, four, maybe five times the gap of the previous ramp. This is probably really annoying for you guys, me just standing here and like gawking over this ramp. I feel like I could be the first one to ever go off this. Mike hasn't told me anything about this. I didn't, he doesn't even know I know this ramp exists yet. I'm assuming he's gonna tell me later today and be like, yo man, we got a new ramp. <sighs> Dude, I could go off this and make history though. Like be the first one off this ramp because this one's probably gonna be here for a while. Like this is permanent. This has gotta be permanent until the home's built. <sighs> Dude, I'm like, I'm like panicking because I feel like I really have to go off this thing. It's not stealing Mike's thunder. I'm, I'm gonna just show you guys interior views. But uh, the other thing is like, if I make it, he doesn't have to worry about like being the first one to go. You know what I mean? He's always been the first one on other ramps. And uh, man, if I could just do this for him, I don't know. I'm saying this now when in probably two months, we probably have all gone off this ramp like 30 times. I'm nervous just thinking about it. I hate doing this because I get myself so worked up. And if I don't do it, then it's like all this anxiety is for nothing. I imagine what I'd have to hit this at is 40 miles an hour. The dog is in pursuit, so she's gonna be way out of the way by the time we get to the ramp. Oh, dude, there's no way. No way, dude. Oh my God. I just gotta, I gotta be confident for five seconds, just five seconds of my life. Do I have to just, just ignore all risks and just do it 40 miles an hour is probably what we need which is insanely fast all right foot to the floor Ugh, dude no way man no way i'm gonna nosedive oh dude i'm sorry man I, i'm bitching out so hard on that that's a little more crazy even than mike's jump with the the t-rex Oh, I'm sorry guys. I mean that I would Oh, I'm just not gonna take the risk like that right now. I'm I'm just not. I maybe I should just cut all this, but I feel like it's good to hype up the ramp at least for Mike's sake to, to get you guys accustomed to what we're gonna be dealing with here. Cause I mean holy smokes. Where were you at? <laughs> I'm gonna be so tired. What we do have though is the F-150. 
and to keep everyone out of harm's way, if we could possibly set this thing to hit 40 miles an hour, which I think is what we're gonna need to take that ramp on, just by looking at it, I'm sure Mike in his head has numbers rolling. Uh, we could do this with nobody in it. We have plenty of woods down here to catch the truck. It's not gonna hurt anybody. It's gonna be the same thing as the Challenger. And if we can hit the ramp safely, we, we wanna overshoot probably on the first one, the first test. Uh, that way we know that a vehicle can make it without catastrophic failure. And then uh, wheel it back from there if the truck survives. Just keep dialing the, the speed back because I'm assuming this truck is around the same weight as that one now that it has like bigger tires and all the components. Um, I'm, I'm sure it's within a thousand pounds with these two. But I don't know, maybe back in 99, these uh, these had less aluminum on it. We may have to bump down the speed on this one and then uh, put some weight in the back. All right, enough of that nonsense. Thursday, happy Veterans Day. If this video gets out in time, I really hope it does. Uh, but yeah, thank you to all the veterans that served or are serving. Um, you guys are the reason this country the way it is today. It means a lot to myself and I'm sure the majority of America. We really appreciate what you guys do. BDS with the Bronco lift. That thing is badass. It's like a little fire company uh mock-up it's just this fire department on it that's a super cool little decal i remember that's what i wanted to do with my truck was have it be like a lifeguard build like put the uh search and rescue or rescue on it um but i didn't know if that'd be like some weird thing where i get in trouble with law enforcement where it's like oh yeah you're faking like you're a lifeguard or something like that it's weird how you can impersonate a soldier but i can't impersonate a lifeguard but anyway we got uh, Chevy GMC lifts here, Colorado Canyon. And their website still only says 2017 to 2019 uh, ZR2 that the the four inch lift kit fits, which is incorrect. I don't know why BDS is like doing that to themselves. It 100% fits on my truck. They had to do like the tiniest bit of uh, manipulation. It was actually less work, they said, than what they've had to do with this lift kit on the 2017 to 2019 models. It's a five inch, 5.5 inch lift kit with uh, Fox Reservoir coilovers, which is really crazy. This gives you a bunch more products than what came with mine. It's gonna bump it up another inch and a half. Um, and then if I add those springs and everything, this truck's gonna be pretty, this truck's gonna be pretty high up in the air. The only thing that sucks is the price tag. We're looking at $4,463.84, 86 cents rather. All right, so let's buy this lift kit. Yes, sir. I was looking to purchase some Toyo tires, uh, looking for 37 inches, and then I have the rest of the specs here whenever you're ready. Awesome. Thank you very much. The Bye. giveaway for the Any Level Lift F450 is going on right now. You guys can purchase any one of these products right here, and it'll automatically enter you to win that beautiful truck. Plus, I think it's up to 10 20 or thirty thousand dollars worth of cash it's some insane amount of money that you also get and free tools uh, you're entered to win those as well so the odds of you winning something you got to win something if you buy one of my shirts it has to be something I, I believe in you guys and the odds in your favor so yeah hit up that that's down in the description likes are always appreciated they help the channel so much we're so close to fifty thousand subscribers and uh leave some guesses what you think is going to be in that parking spot right there pretty soon